All right, guys, welcome back to Feed the Beast with me, Mr. Martinotti. Uh, today, we have quite a few things to do. Um, last episode, I kind of left us hanging because I didn't have the gold required to make the pulverizer, which will be our uh, second new machine. We already made our generator. Uh, but I have been quite a f or I've spent quite a few hours caving. So, uh, yeah, we have uh, stuff now. We have some diamonds, we have some gold, uh, I found an ender pearl, well, I killed a defenseless enderman, and then I took his pearl. Um, and uh, yeah, I've done quite a few things around here. Uh, there was a big ugly tree over there that was uh, made out of great wood. Now, I was pretty surprised by this, but apparently great wood is absolutely useless for everything except for charcoal. I mean, you can't even uh, turn it into planks. It's that useless. It's just entirely made for charcoal. Uh, so we have more charcoal now. Yay. Uh, I have also been uh, adding on to this rubber tree farm. Uh, I've been tapping it every once in a while, and I think we're up to about two stacks worth of rubber. So we're set with that for quite a while. And then um, I've also been looking into something called... It's a pack of some sort. It is a... Nope. Maybe it's a, a satchel? Nope. Um, well, crap. Canvas. Canvas. Come on. Canvas bag. There we go. Canvas mag made out of canvas, which requires a lot of string. Uh, eight, and then we use nine of those eights. So I've been... Uh, Making a little farm over here. I've started planting the uh, pumpkins and melons and stuff. And then uh, I've also started using... Oh, I'm full. Uh, I've also started using some of the seeds that I picked up early on. Um, I, I think... What do we got? We have henquin, henequin, maybe. And then string, which is which comes from flax, which is what this blue stuff is. And then uh, that's the henequin down there. And there's also some corn. Uh, so I've been getting enough string... Uh, what this canvas bag does is it pretty much doubles your inventory, apparently. So I really do want that because uh, it would be nice to have twice the space. Um, but yeah, anyways, today we have uh, quite a bit to do. Like I said, we now have the materials necessary for a pulverizer. So we're going to start by making that. Uh, we need a piston as well as... Let's see if we can do this pretty quick. Uh, I don't remember what this piece is called. It's a casing of some sort. It is a machine frame. All right, similar to a casing. And then we're also going to need some redstone reception coils. And uh, I believe that that's just about it. We have our copper and flint. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So we should believe it goes like this. Copper down below, flint in the middle. There we go, pulverizer. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is um, one of the uh, necessary machines. What this pulverizer does is it takes the ores that have not been smelted, like uh, this tin, which is still mixed with the uh, stone that we mined it out of, and it takes it and it crushes it into dust. Now, it, it does pretty much the exact same thing that a furnace would do, except it is much more efficient. So instead of only getting one ingot's worth of dust out of a uh, oops, out of an ore, you get two. So one of these iron ore, instead of giving us just one ingot, when we pulverize it, it'll give us two ingots worth of powder, which all we do is smelt the powder, and it'll turn it into uh, an ingot. So it's... Uh, double the amount of ores per ore, if that made any sense. So we definitely want that. And then um, I believe that the way that we're going... I don't know if we can just... Uh, where did I put that wire? There we go. I don't know if we can just attach these two together. Uh, it may be... Hopefully this won't blow up. Yeah, we can't do that. So we're going to have to create some sort of conversion thing, uh, which I will look into... See. Oh, it requires it requires to be redstone powered as well. Hmm. 
Take our power usage. Okay. Let's see. Is there any side that this will connect on? Maybe on the bottom? Nope. Okay. Uh, well, we don't need we don't need that immediately. Uh, another thing that I wanted to make is I believe uh, this is it's a crafting table, except it it does a bit more than that. Um, you know how in a regular crafting table, if you set something in there and then you realize, oh crap, I don't have one of the things I need. Uh, as soon as you leave that crafting table, everything plops onto the floor. Well, this, which is called a project table, uh, kind of, it, well, it fixes that problem. Um, it has a little chest down here to store stuff in, as well as a crafting table. So let's say I only had seven uh, pieces of cobblestone out of my eight, and I'm like, oh crap, I need to go get a piece of cobblestone. I can go get some, come back, and bam, there it is. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what goes there though. Um, and then we can just leave some cobblestone or some uh, stuff that we would probably need uh, in there. We can just leave it in there so that it's there for us whenever we need it, which is pretty cool. Um, and actually when I was caving, I picked up some redstone, uh, much more of this stuff. I found quite a few rubies, which um, makes sense because rubies are most common in an ocean biome and the uh, all that stuff down there mostly flows this way which leads directly into the ocean uh, so we've been finding quite a few uh, which are rubies are pretty rare uh, so the fact that we're finding them is awesome and then I also noticed this uh, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't place any cobblestone, and I definitely didn't place any mossy cobblestone. So I have a feeling that we're two for two as far as these, uh, what are they called? Spawner things go. Is that skeleton? Oh, that's skeleton. Awesome. Uh, so we might have to make some use of this. It, it appears that they're either much more common or maybe the uh, generation since all these mods affect the generation of the world, maybe it screws with it somehow. But uh, yeah, we're finding creosote, larch saplings, some iron, bread, a bronze hoe, hoe, what is that? Green sapphire, and acadia. I think that's what that is. No, acacia? We'll go with that. Uh, some more copper. Oh, another steel axe! Yay! With that teak. All right, and some more string. Good. Uh, this, is, this doesn't look to be very big. Nope, that probably leads directly into water. Well, at least we have this uh, handy little spawner right below our feet. I'm sure. I'm sure we can make something with it. Uh, I don't. Actually, that's a good question. Uh, no, that's wrong. Portal. We do. We have portal guns. Uh, how do you make them? Miniature black hole, obsidian, a lot of iron, and a diamond. You need a nether star? Oh, crap. Okay, well, for those of you who haven't been keeping up with the Minecraft updates, in order to get a nether star, you have to uh, kill the wither boss. Oh. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Uh, and uh, that's no easy task at the beginning of a game, so uh, perhaps we won't be making a portal gun anytime soon. Wow, I had no idea they made it that much harder. Uh, but I guess portal guns are kind of cheaty. Uh, they're pretty easy to make, or at least they were. And then you can really, they, they don't ever uh, break or anything. It's an infinite uh, amount of portal. Wait, does that mean, do we have the, uh, aerial faith plates? What is that? Compressed air. Um, maybe it's just faith? We do. Good. Oh, A-E-R. Okay, so those are, they're, they're a bit harder to make, but they're still not bad. We're gonna need a diamond pick to get the obsidian, though. Oh, actually, I should show you this, too. Uh, I cleared a couple trees so that we have a pretty little sunset spot. <laughs> I thought that was fun. Um, you can just 
walk out of the house, take a quick left, and bam, sunset. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, well, it appears that uh, we, we do want this to be running because uh, I, I don't want to keep smelting all these ores if I don't need to. Where is silver? Silver, 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 monazite, silver. Okay, then that's a good spot for it. Put that down there. Get some more copper, some more oil sand, up to 59. Wow. Uh, we can put our hoe next to our other hoe. Uh, I guess we'll just keep that in our inventory. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put some redstone down there. These go in here. I still haven't mastered which chest has what. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep, uh, and then I'm gonna plant. Don't don't mind that. <laughs> I'm gonna plant those two saplings, and then I'm going to figure out how to get this to work. And we will be back. All right, guys. Well, I figured it out. It's uh, not nearly as hard as I thought it was. Apparently. Uh, we're going to need to take this, uh, which is in, uh, uh, what, is, what are those called? Energy units, EU. And then we're going to have to change it to uh, MJ, which is Minecraft Jewels. So the way you do that is with an engine. An engine takes uh, EU in and uh, puts out an MJ uh, allotment. So uh, the way you do that is we're going to need some sticks. We're going to need some sticks, and we're going to need some... 10. Ten, four tin. Did I put all that in here? Uh, I only have three. Well, crap. Um, I guess. Well, we'll just we'll smelt one. Uh, I don't want to waste any of it, so we'll just do what we need. That's not gonna work. There we go. Okay, take our charcoal. Oh, up to level 36. Woo. Okay, give me this. All right, well, in the meantime, we can uh, take these, which that's, I believe we put like that to get a wooden gear. Oh, no, we're going to need two. Crap. Okay, so then I guess we're going to need more tin. All right, so hopefully, oh, yeah, there's plenty of time left. Okay, so then we're going to take that and surround it by tin. No. I uh, keep missing steps. All right, we're gonna surround it by stone. Put that there, and then we get a tin gear. All right, then we're gonna do that twice. We'll need two more pieces of wood. There we go. Actually, let me put those in there as well. Yeah. Okay. So we'll make another one of these. Wood, and we're gonna need a cobblestone. All right, and hopefully this is done. Yes, it is. Okay, cobblestone. Surrounded by tin. Check. All right, so what we are making is called electrical engine. So it needs two tin gears. We're going to need another piston. Three more. Dang it. Well, I guess <laughs> whatever. Uh, let me just double check that. Tin, tin, tin. Yes. Okay. We can we can afford to waste the, the uh, coal. I just don't want to waste the tin. All right. Then we're gonna need another piston. Uh, do we we need the planks in here? Four planks. A piece of iron. Uh, one redstone. Which did I put any in there? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need one redstone. And then cobble, which we have. So I believe it's no cobble over here. Wood on top, iron in the center, and redstone at the bottom. Check. All right, we got three more of these, and glass. Okay, I made some glass a while ago. Yep, I have one piece left. But we did just get some sand from. Uh, uncovering that mob spawner, so that's okay. All right, glass, that doesn't seem right. What are we missing? Oh, the piston at the bottom, okay. 
piston at the bottom, three, ten across the top. All right, electrical engine. Now, how this electrical engine works is, uh, I believe I'm gonna need a wrench to get that off the wall. I have some copper. I think it's uh, copper and tin. God, I, I might as well have just melted all the tin. Right, is that charcoal? No, that's coal. Yeah, 750, 4,000 EU. Wow, okay. Uh, I believe it's uh, copper and tin. It may be copper and iron, but we'll find out shortly. Oops, nope. Yes, there we go. Bronze. Now, we may need another. Yeah, we do. Uh, my fingers aren't working today. Okay, well, we still have plenty of charge, so that's fine. Uh, we can place these ahead of time, thanks to our handy-dandy project table. Can take that back, put that there. Yes, okay, now, I believe it's like that. A wrench, yes. Okay, so with that, we can uh, take this. Nope, is this the wrong wrench? Well, crap. All right, let me just uh, tab out. Let's see, what do we need? We need uh, PUL Pulver. There we go. Pulverizer. Do, 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 do. How do we destroy you? A pickaxe! God dang it! Alright, well, I'm sure we'll need the. Uh... No, this one? Oh, this is taking too long. I'm worried. Oh, did it? Okay, good. Whew. All right. Uh, yes. Now, where did we put our engine? Engines in here. Okay. So, um, let's set this up right here. I guess we'll need the electrical engine. We'll need that facing this, like so. Yep, I believe that's how it works. All right, and then we're going to need some uh, cable, which I put here. All right, so the cable is going to power this. It should fill that up, maybe. Uh, oh, right, do I have any sticks? I only have one piece of oak. Get another piece of oak. Sticks. Stick, cobble, lever. Oh, yes, it moves. All right, so that's probably, okay, so that can keep up with it. Uh, now it, this is filling up with uh, electricity. Wow, pretty quickly as well. Uh, four megajoule a tick. Minecraft joule, not megajoule. Um, all right, well, let's try it out. Let's see, we seem to be needing quite a bit of tin, so uh, let's try this out first. Alright, so this will start pulverizing. Uh, I know there's a way to make this go faster. Oh, so it looks like it's... Oh wow, it's actually gaining power. We're, we're making it faster than it can expend it. That's cool. Alright, so yeah, one, one tin ore will give us two tin dust, pulverized tin, and then we can uh, smelt this turn it into two tin ingots. Yes, okay. Actually, we should probably make an electric furnace. I think that's just a furnace with some uh, iron. Electric furnace, furnace. It takes an iron furnace. Okay, an iron furnace, an electric circuits. That's not too hard. Gonna need some more cable though. Oh, that's refined iron. All right, I have some of that. Uh, and then redstone. Okay, so we'll we'll keep this out. Um, oh, what does that do? Defaults. Sort inventory. I'm sure that does something important. Okay, so we need redstone. Uh, we're going to need some more copper wire. And a piece of... I probably put that in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Uh, so we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those, which requires copper, which I did put in here. 
yes. Yes. And find iron to make that check and that with two redstone and an iron furnace. Okay, so is this doing anything important? No, it isn't. So we'll take that out and destroy this. Okay, and then this we can, we'll have to use this. Uh, this we should be able to transform, is that, that's tin. Okay, so I'm gonna need some more, we'll put this in there. Uh, I need some more iron. Iron ingots, I have four, I need one more. That's silver, that's ten. It should go like that. Silver goes over there, ten over there. There we go. Alright, so that's still generating. Oh, that did, it pulverized all of it. Cool, alright, we're, we're moving up in the world. So now we'll get some iron out. Pulverize this. Hopefully fairly quickly. I don't know what that means. Uh, that'll give us two pulverized iron, which I just broke the furnace. Well, crap. Okay, so we'll just put you back over here. It's a piece of coal. Uh, I guess we should use all eight. Wait, what? Pulverize ferrous dust. I don't know what that means. Alright, it's eight. Okay, so now we have five of those. Uh, we'll go back to this. One, two, three, four, five, and then, well, dang it. I just put that down to do this. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's never easy. Alright, you know what? Fine. We'll just, we'll make another one. I'm sure I'll, I'll need it eventually. Okay, furnace, iron. There we go, iron furnace. Let me take that, put it at the bottom of this. No, how did that work? Iron furnace, uh, electric, electric furnace. Aha, close but no cigar. There we go, electric furnace. All right, so I don't know if this one generator is gonna be able to uh, power both an electric furnace and this electric engine, but we'll see. Filling up, filling up. All right, now the cool thing about this electric furnace is, well, we'll let this finish, but um, A, this does not run on coal. So it's uh, pretty cool, it, it, it runs on renewable stuff. I mean, this runs on coal, so it, it's not exactly as a uh, renewable as it could be, but it will as soon as we start getting solar panels on our roof. Um, but, and, there's a second reason that this is cool, it's fast. I mean, you can overclock it, but even without being overclocked, this thing is pretty quick. Uh, so, we'll just drop these in here. Now, think about how long it would take for a regular furnace to smelt a, a piece of ore into an ingot. I mean, this is wicked. Uh, that's still fine. Is this full? No. But it, it's it's actually keeping up just about... Okay, so it's losing a little bit uh, since the um, electric furnace is running as well. But that's okay. Uh, we, we can live with that. Okay, so I don't know what... I don't know how that happens. Maybe it gives us something every once in a while as like a byproduct or something. Power usage. It's only using two, so we can upgrade it to use more power, but we definitely don't need to. Alright, so this is running perfectly in sync. It's not gaining or losing anything, so this is fine. Is this losing anything? No. All right, so these two can run perfectly at the uh, amount of energy this can put out, which is awesome. So we don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, we're getting more tin. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tin, yes. Iron goes there. Uh, we can we can start pulverizing all this stuff now that we actually, uh, what do you call it, have uh, a pulverizer. <laughs> which is a fairly important thing and necessary to pulverize stuff. Okay, uh, time to sleep again. 
right next to our brand new pulverizer. Mmm, so warm. Okay, uh, so I think the cool thing, another cool thing, there's so many cool things about it, but the cool thing about this electric engine is uh, most of the other engines, if they get worked too hard or for too long, they will overheat and uh, things like the uh, combustion engine, which runs on gas or lava, um, it can uh, blow up and it'll destroy some of the stuff next to it. But the cool thing about the electric engine is because we put that little uh, electronic circuit in there, every time it gets too hot, which I believe there's a way to check, yeah, if it ever gets too hot, it'll just turn off, cool down, and then start up as soon as it's done. So it, it's uh, not going to blow up unless we do something really bizarro to it. Uh, but I think that actually you can plug this into high voltage and it'll still be fine, so there may be no way to blow that up. Uh, wow, I'm talking a lot today. Okay, so uh, next, we, uh, perfect. We have uh, our first steps towards mechanization. Uh, we can, I think we should probably keep this thing f full. We're going to be needing copper. Uh, so now, is that doing all right? Yeah, that's doing fine. It should be gaining even more power now because this isn't on. Uh, now we can move on to some of the cooler stuff. Um, in order to get the solar panels, which will let us uh, cut off from our coal dependency, uh, we're going to be needing, well, actually, let's check it out right now. Solar. Okay, solar panel. We're gonna need silicon and carbon. Uh, we we can just use the what do you call it circuits for these I believe yeah yeah we can just use regular circuits for those so that doesn't matter but how do we get silicon silicon we're going to need an industrial blast furnace now I know that's not going to be easy <laughs> all right silicon cells gives us silicon plates and empty cells okay now how do we get the silicon Raw carbon. Oh, actually, I, I, this has got to be a compressor. Coal dust. How do we get coal dust? Hydrated coal dust. How do we get... Ah, this is not helpful. How do we get coal dust? Graphite? No. You know what? I bet we can, uh, we can probably pulverize coal. Let, let's, uh, let's see about that. We'll toss this in here. We'll let this one finish. Okay, so that'll keep going. Uh, how do you suppose we get coal dust? Will that pulverize coal into coal dust? Oh, come on, that would be so cool. Coal dust, yes! Okay, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, that's fine. All right, so we're gonna need that coal dust. How many do we need? We need four, which makes two. Okay, so we're gonna need eight coal per raw carbon mesh, and then we're gonna need just one carbon mesh in a compressor to make a carbon plate. Okay, so we'll be able to do that first part pretty easily. Four of these, which we should just be able to raw carbon fiber. Cool. Okay, so we'll let that crank away. Uh, does this does this work with charcoal? That would be so cool. I wonder if it makes charcoal dust. It does. Can I use charcoal dust to make carbon fiber? It's moving a lot quicker. Right, so this is starting to drain because it's going so fast. Alright, let me see. Can we make... No, we can't. Okay. So we don't want to make charcoal. We don't want to use charcoal to make charcoal dust. Although we could probably do something with that as well. We want to keep using coal. Alright, so we're going to have to start running all this stuff off of charcoal. Because we need the coal for other purposes. Okay, uh, how many did I say we need? We need 8 to 1, and we only need... Let's make 16. So we're going to need a whole stack of coal dust. Okay, that's not bad. Let's make another one of these. 
Wait, does it only take two of these to make carbon mesh? Yes, it does. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so... Good, good. So things are starting to come together. Alright, now another thing that we're going to need is the industrial blast furnace. So how do we go about making one of those? Uh, there's an R in there. Okay, industrial centrifuge, industrial electrolyzer, grinder, credit, diamond, serum, blast furnace. There we go. What the heck? Uh, are these just circuits? Medium circuit board, electronic circuit. Okay, so they are. That's good. Uh, but what the heck are these? Copper. We need a rolling machine to make copronical heating coils. Oh, geez. This is a bit out of my league. All right, an advanced machine block. That's not too hard to make, I don't think. Uh, that's carbon plate. Wait a second. Carbon plate. Okay, so we're making carbon plate. That's good. So we are going to need a rolling machine. Nope. Uh, carbon fiber, which we can just turn into that. Or no, we don't need a rolling machine. What is that called? Uh, an extruder? No. Solar panel. Solar panel, carbon plate, a compressor. Okay, so we're going to need a compressor before we can make a blast furnace. Compressor, machine block, electronic circuit, and some stone. Okay, so we can make one of these right now. Cool. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, I need more rubber. Okay, and then we have some copper. We only have three copper in here, but that's okay. Okay, so like that. Okay, so we need those. We need two redstone, and was it just iron? No, it was refined iron. Okay, so we got that, and then uh, we need... What was that other thing? Machine block, refined iron. Okay, we can do that too. Uh, but we may need to refine iron first. Get our copper back, which we will put in there. All right, we only have three refined iron, so... Take eight more. Uh, the cool... Un <laughs> I've said that so many times already. Another cool thing about this electric furnace is uh, it since it doesn't run on coal, you don't need to have a perfect stack uh, to get anything back um, because you uh, it only uses electricity per ingot, uh, which is amazing because now I don't have to worry about having eight of something so that I don't waste any power because you don't waste any power. It just uses a power per thing. All right, so we're going to need five of these because we already have three. Good. Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now we need smooth stone, which I can swear I made some. I'm one short, but we can cook one without feeling guilty. Because those are done. Electric furnace. Furnace that up. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, I think that goes down there. Actually, let me go like that. Let's see. Nope, down there. Nope, down there. Compressor, there we go. Okay, so we will put that up there. Yes. Okay, so we can compress carbon mesh to get... Uh, the plates, that probably can't keep up. It can, holy crap, this generator's a trooper. Keeping up with that engine, the furnace isn't on, but it could be. Uh, this is probably still making coal dust. No, it isn't, it's filling up. Good, you fill up. Uh, that should give us carbon plates. Okay, cool. So we'll make some more of the, uh, what are those called? Uh, raw carbon mesh. Fiber, a carbon fiber. All right, then that'll make mesh. Okay, we'll put those in there. All right, two. Wow, this is coming along swimmingly. Um, actually, 
Now that we're starting to actually smelt this stuff, we're gonna need better storage. Uh, now we could make double chests, but they take up a lot of room. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these chests that we already have, and we are going, one second, let me just check something, good. Uh, we are going to turn them into, I need a C there. We are going to make iron chests, which we can upgrade, and then an iron chest is just iron ingots around a chest. Fairly straightforward. Uh, I don't want to actually break any of these because they're all full with something or another. So we're going to need to make some more iron, which means we have any, nope, but we do have this. Good. Okay, so we'll pulverize that, which will give us a full stack for just half a stack. Uh, let's see. We should put some of this in order. Yes, that goes down there. That's good. See, because this is really orange, this is yellow, and this is white. It's in uh, degrading colorness. That made sense. Shut up. Okay, so that is pumping away. Wow, 10 already. Or 10, not tin. Uh, furnace size it. Where did I put it? What's that? More ferrous dust? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. 32. Okay. So that'll chug away. We'll start with this. Oh, actually, we need to uh, make another chest. Okay. Check. Okay. Now, how many does that have? Three. Uh, four, five, six, seven. We need one more. I think we can mix these. We, they don't all have to be of one type. But let's see. And nope, we can't. Well, fine. All right. Does that have two? Yes, it does. Beautiful. B e a beautiful. All right. Iron chest. Coolio. Okay. So we should. We should dump all this somewhere. Where, where, where should I dump all this stuff? I don't want to dump it into our new chest. Oh, this is like the Futurama episode where they had to do the brain switching thing. Actually, we can just do that. Now we'll make another chest to be a, a, a extra midway chest. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. God, this is just a video of me crafting things. All right, so we'll put everything into here, or at least everything that's not on my hotbar. All right, is that still pumping away? Yes, yes, fine, yes. You should go in here, your brethren. Okay, so what was I doing? This, all right, we're gonna need all, no, nope, 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 nope. We'll do that, there we go, nope. Crap, that's filling up from the bottom first. Nope, we'll go back. Uh, well, whatever. Okay, give me all this. Tungsten, ender pearl, gobbledygook. I don't know how I didn't break that torch. Okay, now this is the equivalent of, I believe, yeah, it's a double chest. Six tall, same length. Um, except it only takes up one chest's worth of space, which is awesome. Okay, nope. Okay, that's all horrendously out of order, but that's okay. Then I can take all my crap back. Come at me. I can break this. Okay. Wow, I'm gonna need a bigger house. Um, well, I think uh, that'll do it for today. We got a crazy amount done. Um, so we have our first steps towards our industrial blast furnace. D-U-S-T-R. Industrial blast furnace. We're gonna need a rolling machine. Uh, we got We got ferrous dust, so that's awesome. So we'll be able to get this ferrous ingot. Uh, we have nickel, we have all this stuff. I think it's just copper and then uh, ink, nickel, 
It's copper, nickel, and ferrous. That's what we need. We need four copper, two nickel, two ferrous. I don't know if I have any nickel. Probably do. What is it? Do, 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 do. Can I? I could probably search that somehow. I don't know. Bauxite, crude oil, silver, iron, tin, copper, tungsten, cinnabar, lead, crude, silver, aluminum. I don't. All right, so I'm going to need to figure out how to make nickel. Um, but we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you day after tomorrow. Bye-bye.